We're back. There's news tonight in the ongoing deadlock between actress Mary Kate Olsen and federal authorities investigating the overdose death of actor Heath Ledger. Olsen, Olsen is reportedly demanding immunity before she talks and getting slammed for it. An anonymous New York Post source saying, quote, everyone has been very eager to help, saying what a great guy Heath Ledger was, except Mary Kate, who's refused to speak. We'll talk more about why she may want immunity in a, in a minute. First, here's NBC's Mike Taibbi. Autopsy results show the late star of a current Batman blockbuster died from an accidental overdose of painkillers, sleeping pills, and anti-anxiety drugs. But investigators are still trying to determine the source of two of them, OxyContin and Vicodin. A Drug Enforcement Administration official told NBC News Ledger's friend, the actress Mary Kate Olsen, was subpoenaed last April as part of the continuing investigation into the source of those drugs and said, we're still in talks to arrange an interview. Olson's attorney issued a statement Monday saying his client had nothing whatsoever to do with the drugs found in Heath Ledger's home or his body, and she does not know where he obtained them. The actress is not under investigation, but former federal prosecutor Robert Mintz explained why someone in her position might seek immunity before speaking on the record. In cases that are very high profile, it's not going to be that unusual for a lawyer to be perhaps even more cautious. And the only way to ensure that your client has no potential for any criminal liability is to ask for immunity. When Ledger was found unconscious and unresponsive in his New York apartment last January 22nd, one of the first phone calls from that apartment was to Ledger's friend Olson, who dispatched her security guards to the scene as emergency medical technicians were arriving. Except for a short statement days later calling Ledger's death a tragic loss, Olson herself said nothing about it publicly until Monday's statement through her New York lawyer denying any knowledge about the actor's prescription drugs. Now, more than six months later, there's Oscar buzz around Ledger's performance as the Joker. Well, hello, beautiful. And you investigators still hope to talk to his famous friend, who was as close to him as anyone at the time he died. Mike Taibbi, NBC News, New York. Joining me now, attorney and True TV anchor Lisa Bloom and Tom O'Neill, senior editor for In Touch Weekly. All right, Lisa, legally, what is this lawyer doing? Why, why demand immunity? Well, let's call it what it is. It's suspicious. You only ask for immunity if you have something to hide, right? If she was going to make that same statement under oath that her attorney's making, not under oath to the public, I don't know where those prescription drugs came from. I had nothing to do with it. She would not have a need for immunity. So either she's overly concerned or her attorneys are overly concerned that she gave them the drugs or they're asking her about her own drug use or she knows the third party that gave him the drugs. I mean, it's probably one of those possibilities, But, but right? also, in these high-profile cases, as you know from how many you've covered, the lawyers have to think both about the, the legalities and about the PR, meaning well, and she's why, getting terrible PR Yes, right and that's why this is even more suspicious, because an A-list celeb like Mary-Kate Olsen is surrounded not just by lawyers, but by publicists, managers, aromatherapists, right? Everyone's looking out for her best interests, and nobody wants her to seek immunity except her lawyer. It's clearly against her interests in the public sphere. We're all talking about it today. Tom, what, what what do we know about their relationship? They met in 2006 through Sienna Miller, another club crawler, uh, fast lane party gal star. They dated briefly from September, about the three months before he died. They were really close. I mean, there, there are cute pictures of her dressing up like him, putting mm -hmm. on hats and vests like him. But it was not a full-blown romance. Mm -hmm. But they, they often went to two clubs together, out in Los Angeles, the uh, Chateau Marmont, and here in New York, the Beatrice Inn. What do, you, what do you make of this? I mean, we were talking about the PR aspect of this. I mean, this is a PR disaster for her. Is it not? Oh, my God, it really is. Well, it all goes back to the suspicion from the death scene, which is why did the masseuse call Mary Kate Olsen three times? She only connected once before she called 911. The, the one legitimate thing you could say is the masseuse did meet Heath through Mary Kate. But if she suspected this was a life and death situation, why is she calling Mary Kate first? But then the, the, the thing that is really damning here and suspicious, if you want to go to the darkest place of all, which is why did Mary Kate then call her bodyguards and send them to the scene of the death? It suggests, if you want to get into conspiracies, you know, go there, clean up the drugs, if right. there were any. But we have to be very careful here. Mary Kate Olson has never admitted a drug problem. She was in rehab in 2004 for six weeks. It was for an alleged eating disorder. And she's not named yeah. as a suspect. Well, and, and beyond, I think we're, we're, gonna, we're getting a little be you know ahead of ourselves here. I mean, she's beyond not a suspect. I mean, there's, there's nothing to believe that she's 
suspected or a person of interest in anything. Well, Can it, really? She's asking for immunity, except yeah, but for she's, that. But she's That's asking for immunity today. in connection with, you know, details about how he died, right? I mean... Right. And look, and this could be a fishing expedition by the feds. They may be asking her a lot of personal questions about her own life, about her own potentially prescription drug use that could be see, illegal that, if she see, got I, him from somebody see, I, else. I think that may be the issue. Is that, yeah, that, because this is the investigation phase. They ask those kinds of questions. Right, but that wouldn't have anything to do with his death. It would have to do with her own life. Yeah, and that's an explanation that makes her attorney's statement consistent yeah. and her ask for immunity uh, consistent. Lisa but. Bloom, Tom O'Neill, thanks yeah. a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dan. Up next, will tonight's big winner or loser be Tyra Banks, posing as Michelle Obama for a magazine, Paris Hilton giving John McCain a piece of her mind, or Paul McCartney making peace with Heather Mills? Plus, your emails, we call it the P.O. Box, right back.